Stargazing is for everybody, especially those who view the night sky with a sense of wonder. Like anything, stargazing takes practice. Here are some tips to help you get started. Number one, watch the moon. We on Earth all see the same moon phase on the same days. Follow the moon for one lunar cycle, 29.5 days. Start with a crescent moon in the sunset direction, a day or two after new moon. Then check it out every day at the same time each day. If you do this, you'll find the moon shifting eastward across our sky from day to day. You're seeing the moon's orbit around Earth. However, after full moon, you'll need to look later each day, eventually after midnight or before dawn. Track the moon for a month and see how it changes, and you'll notice some moon phases in daylight. Number two, watch the sunrise and sunset. Never look at the sun directly, but do notice a point on the horizon where the sun rises or sets as seen from your observing spot. The sun rises due east and sets due west at every equinox. If you identify east and west, it will help with our next tip. Number three, use a chart. Start with easy-to-use star charts like those at Earth Sky's Visible Planets and Night Sky Guide. These daily charts are good for beginners. Each one presents something interesting to spot in that night sky. Learn planets and stars by spotting them near the moon. Then move on to more detailed charts like those found online or buy a planisphere that you can use any night and any time of the year. Number four, notice patterns among the stars. Look for stars forming triangles, curves, shapes, or straight lines. Make up your own constellations, then line up the brighter stars and patterns you see with your star chart. Number five, don't buy a telescope to start. Get familiar with noticeable star patterns first. Check out the second star from the end of the Big Dipper's handle. It's really two stars. Then try binoculars. Standard 10 by 50 binoculars work great. Point them at the moon and bright objects in the night sky. If you're in a dark location, use your binoculars to sweep along the Milky Way and to check out any hazy patches in the night sky. These patches might be star clusters, or they may be clouds of gas and dust where new stars are forming. Take time to enjoy the beauty of it all. Number six, find a dark sky site. Try a park for dark skies. Visit Earth Sky's Best Places to Stargaze page for dark locations around the world, or check for an astronomy club in your area. Experienced members are good sources of advice, and some groups loan out telescopes. Put away electronics. Even night mode is too bright under a dark sky and will ruin your night vision. Get a red filtered flashlight to read your star charts or planisphere. Number seven, link up with astro friends. If you live in a college town, keep an eye out for astronomy courses. Local schools, museums, astronomy clubs, and planetariums might host public programs. Number eight, take the telescope plunge carefully. Can you recognize some planets, major stars, and constellations? Have you explored the sky with binoculars and you know you want more optical power? Then explore the different types of telescopes and determine what works best for you. If there's a nearby star party, go look through different telescopes. Number nine, just look up. If you're outside, look at the sky, look out the car window, gaze toward the sunrise every morning, notice bright objects in the sky, look for patterns among the stars, just start looking up and noticing what's there. Number 10, be faithful to the sky. One of the great things about becoming a stargazer is that you make a lifelong friend. And like any friend, the sky changes in subtle ways from day to day and year to year. Watch the sky frequently and treasure your connection with the universe. Before you know it, you'll be able to point out all sorts of stars, constellations, and planets. And you'll look forward to gazing up at the stars. Enjoy!